If you have to load a backup, clap your hands. If you just blew up a charged creeper, clap your hands. If you really hate the fact that creepers explode from a million miles away, even though they could never damage you anyway on hard difficulty, clap your hands. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Have you ever had things go from being so right to so wrong? Well, that's how I've been... That's what I've been dealing with pretty much all day. But the one good thing, the one redeeming quality is that boats can just go up blocks, <laughs> which makes it so easy to get villagers around in this new update. This is the 1.19.4 pre-release, so I'm very happy about this change, very welcome change. The one little thing that's made this day all worth it. I've already got this guy in here once, but I had to load a backup. Fortunately, I just made one uh, 24, 28 minutes before. Uh, so let's get this set up so that he has to go in here. We're gonna put nether bricks in front of here to block him off Just so that there's solid blocks there and then he should go right up into here fall down in and get stuck for the rest of his life, so And he's gonna do it quick too because it's going night Cool all right, so we got him into his spot and we also have a block over him so if he ever gets set on fire as a zombie um, then he won't burn, so that's good, or he, he shouldn't get set on fire now, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, this guy even has golden carrots, and I specially picked him because he's, um, he'll buy both potatoes and carrots from me, which are really easy to get because you can use fortune on them. So, they're two of the crops that you can use fortune on. In addition, we also have this guy. This guy is a silk touch villager, but more importantly, he does buy books, so we can just... Go ahead and grab some books from here. If we had emeralds, which we don't. There's gotta be emeralds here somewhere, right? No? Just just no emeralds? No, no emeralds. Okay. So yeah, we can buy bookshelves like this. And we can smash them. Get the books back and sell them for a profit. So that's really awesome. And we could just keep repeating this process as much as we want. And just like that, we've made a 24 emerald profit in a very quick amount of time. And that's really all there is to that. I'm very excited about this. Uh, and now, something that I've learned that you can do is you can turn emeralds into iron. Which is a really weird concept, but here's how it works. It'll take one block of emerald to do this. So you take a block of emerald, and you just literally just throw it on the ground, and you get an iron ingot. Now, it's, it's not that simple. It'd be amazing if it was, but it's not. So you're going to craft your emerald block into nine emeralds, and you're going to go up to a villager. But not just any villager. It does have to be a armorer, blacksmith, or armorer, toolsmith, or weaponsmith. So basically any one of the blacksmith category and you could just buy boots and you're gonna just do this and you do it and you do it and you do it until you have nine of them I had just the right amount of inventory space for that I'm gonna go over here so I can pick up the XP um, and you're gonna go ahead and just smelt these down into the iron nuggets and once you get nine of these you can craft them into an iron ingot so that is how you can turn a single block of emerald into a, an iron ingot, and that's not horrible, <laughs> but it is kind of bad. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this. Clearly we have more iron blocks than emerald, so it'd actually just be easier to exchange our iron blocks that we have at beacons for emerald blocks. It'd be a much easier process than doing this, but once you get a ton of emeralds, this actually is a valid way of getting uh, iron. Although I would definitely suggest using an auto smelter if you're going to do that. And that new librarian villager that we have over here was from a zombie villager I found while I was building this pathway. Um, this pathway goes over to our mining operation, and we'll actually check it out while I'm talking. Build a little campsite here. Um, but I found a zombie villager while I was building this, and I had some azaleas on me. That's how I was getting the rooted dirt. And... I threw him down, and sure enough, he picked him up, so I'm like, ah, cool, you can pick up loot. So I went over to my villager um, thing, I got a diamond helmet, which I had saved up from 
the armor that we have over there. Uh, I gave him the diamond helmet. The, the zombie villager, I gave him the diamond helmet so he wouldn't burn in the sunlight, just in case it went to daytime. I brought him over to our village, and I cured him. And it's a little laggy for some reason. And I made him be a librarian, so that way we could get more of the books. So, yeah, definitely welcome to get more villagers in our village thing. We are going to have to change that at some point. Yeah, it comes over to here. I want to continue this to go up over this mountain. Because uh, we have our beacon out this way, if we can find it. It's going to be hard because I have the beam turned off, but it's definitely near here because I got the effect. I think it's right down here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Oh, I didn't mean to fall down there. Well, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do this episode, but now I'm pretty sure I do know because... 1.20 is just around the corner, and we are in the 1.19.4 pre-release, which was supposed to be the Birch Forest update, or, well, you know what they say, concept art isn't a commitment. So, but our Birch Forests are still definitely in need of an update. So, what are we going to do? Well, we don't have any Birch Forests around here, but we do have a regular forest, so why don't we update that with some new Birch Tree features? But how are we going to do that when, for one, we don't have any new blocks to do that with, and we don't have any idea what an updated birch forest would look like? But actually, we do. Because we can take that very concept art and make it our own with taking the ideas from it and making it in our world. So first things first, we're going to mark out an area where we want our new birch forest to be. So we have to clear out the entirety of the forest that we have ahead of time. Uh, so we're going to mark out this area. Ooh, I want that hill in it, though. Hmm, I guess we'll have to go this way. All right. Now we've got a huge area of oak forest that we have to tear out, so let's do that.
All right, so I spent about an hour clearing out the forest from all the oak trees, although it appears I missed a few. <laughs> uh, so now we're going to get rid of the birch trees, but we're going to leave the stumps as a marker as to where they were. And then we will try to use those as reference points of where we're going to put the new birch trees. Uh, the main reason I decided to get rid of the original birch trees is because there's a lot of oak leaves that are sticking around. And if you watch very carefully, you might notice that I was trying to get rid of the oak leaves, but they're a real pain to get rid of. So we're just going to go ahead and get rid of all of the wood, uh, except for the birch stumps. All right, so that deed is done. <laughs> Quick, let's, let's fill it in before I regret it, because it looks quite strange now. Oh, the area is so much smaller, too, than it felt like oh my gosh no okay these are outside of the areas right no they're not okay we still have a few more to go uh this shouldn't take long all right so that deed is done now <laughs> for real uh so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go and i'm gonna take some dirt which i have like zero of apparently um yeah, that's a problem. Uh, I'm trying to think how we could get... I guess we'll put these guys in boats so that they're not bothering me after this point. Uh, we have plenty of wood to make boats, as you can see. Um, I crafted a stack of barrels so I can store stuff in them. I've been using chests, and I've just like always carried chests on me. But uh, barrels are slightly cheaper, so it's like, eh, why not use barrels? But when you miscraft them, it's kind of, like, pointless anyway, so... Uh, yeah, so they should... Once they swarm around me enough, they should eventually get into the boats. I find boats are just really good ways of keeping mobs in place. Um, in a place where you want them, so... Especially now, because of the changes made to them. So, in order to make the big birch trees, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack up some birch logs, and then I'm going to put a... Uh, dirt block on top. Wow. Uh, and then I'm going to bone meal that and not have enough bone meal. So that was three bone meal. I used an entire stack of oak saplings to get three bone meal. So, and that's not even enough to grow a single tree. So I'm pretty sure, uh, th that was in a composter. Ooh. Um, I'm pretty sure the better way to get bone meal is probably not by composting oak saplings and is probably instead by using bones or bone blocks. And since we have tons from our uh, skeleton farm that we haven't used in so long, but we still have so much left over, uh, we will we'll be using those instead. All right, now let's, whoa, holy, holy. Alright, so we got our giant tree in place. Um, <laughs> looks pretty interesting. Now one thing the concept art showed, uh, actually let me, let me show that on screen for a second here. So you'll notice that a lot of them have like a random side jutting out. So we're going to go ahead and place an extra block in like that. So there we go. Cool. <laughs> it looks so strange. But also looks really good. Uh, it's just not something that you see in Minecraft very often. So, uh, yeah. And then another thing is a lot of them have mushrooms growing on them. And I couldn't really... We can't really put mushrooms on the side of blocks. But what we can do is we can put buttons on the side of blocks. So, uh, we can use either oak or uh, spruce buttons for that. So, actually, even mangrove might look good. So, we'll, we'll go ahead and make some buttons. I'm going to start with oak. If they're too light in color, we can switch to spruce. Um, I don't want to do these too many of these, but uh, actually these might work. Oh, yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Um, let's put this one up a little bit higher so it doesn't look like it was just at the top of my reach distance. Ugh. Yeah, that looks good. I definitely think we should use some spruce ones, though, just to keep it mixed up. Uh, you gotta love Minecraft. Um, I just took 
four hearts of suffocation damage from a single birch tree. <laughs> Don't ask me why. And I have respiration, which I'm pretty sure protects you. I have protection on everything and respiration, so I'm pretty sure I should not have taken that much damage. But okay, and the f I only took half a heart of fall damage too, so. All right, well, we got that pretty much done. Uh, now we have to go through and add in some logs on the side. Some of them I already did, but a few of them I did that with. Most of them I did not. Also, if you're wondering why I'm not my normal skin, uh, my skin, for some reason, isn't loading today. It's been loading on and off. Uh, it was, and then it, or it wasn't, and then it was, and now it's not again, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. So, looking at the concept art again, you can see that it's meant to be sparse, but I don't think that it should be this sparse. So, I don't want to add in any more tall trees, but I'm going to add in, I'm going to do, so with all of these tall ones, they've been between three and six extra blocks, um, more favoring four than anything else, and then three, and then five, and then six. Um, I was just kind of randomly doing it, but I definitely was favoring four a lot and three a little bit. So, um, and there's only like two or three that are six blocks extra, plus the base, plus the um, dirt. So there's between um, five and eight blocks. These are all between five and eight blocks higher than a normal birch tree. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in some more uh, periodically, but this time we're going to have them between one and th uh, one and two blocks taller, uh, which is then going to end up being three and four. So anywhere I just see like a really big gap, I'm going to try to put like a couple in. So, and I'll try to do them more in the lower areas so these don't detract so much from the actual tall trees. Uh, like I definitely want to put in some like here. And hopefully these are um, far enough apart and low enough that they won't actually interfere with the the height ones. I don't want these coming anywhere near the height ones, the, the really tall ones. Okay, I have no idea how many of my time lapses I've recorded. So uh, yeah, so ne uh, the next thing we're going to have to do, uh, I did go ahead and put in some, some extra ones uh, that were a little bit shorter. Uh, between uh, two and five extra blocks. Uh, so yeah, that's that worked out. Um, I'm s trying to kind of get a view of how dense it is as of right now. It does look better. Um, it's still, yeah, this spot's very open. That might be a problem. I don't know, maybe not though. I'm not sure. So, yeah, the next thing I want to do is add in the little branches on some of the trees. Uh, let's just go up and down the... I guess I'll do it by chunks so I don't miss any chunks. So, yeah, let's do that. So, like, I'll, like... That way I won't have certain areas that are way more heavily influenced by it. So, I'll do, like, one in three, and then I'll have, like, one in nine have two. So, like, maybe this one. Yeah. And I'll try to randomize which direction it's in, too. Alright. Unbelievable. Alright, so we didn't have any bees in our world, because we've farmed bees in the past, but they've all despawned for some reason. Uh, but what we did have was birch saplings, which you could grow into beehives. Um, there's a chance that when you grow a birch sapling, it will form a beehive on it if it grows near a flower. So I got a bunch of beehives full of bees now, and we're going to put some of them in place. So uh, I think we're, we'll put like four up. Uh, hopefully these bees don't despawn, but even if they do, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Uh, we'll put a honey block in to show that like the honey is dripping. Because the honey is full. Yeah. Nice. Uh, oh, we should definitely have flowers near here. Uh, shoot, I don't have any on me. Um, I don't want them going too far away to find flowers. So 
Um, that's going to be important. All right, so we got the bees in place now. Or the beehives. Well, I guess the bees as well. Uh, we got four of them in. We might add some more later on, especially if these guys despawn. Uh, but next thing we're going to add in is we're going to... I've used bone blocks to mark out where I want dead logs. So anywhere I saw like a kind of a gap where I thought something could go... Whoops. Uh, I put in bone blocks. So let's go get some more birch wood. Uh, I'm not really sure how long it took to do the bee thing. It took quite a while, but um, I... It was like one night that I started, and then the next day I didn't have a chance to go on Minecraft at all. And then I, um, now I'm working on it today, and it's it's morning right now. So it'll be pretty simple for some of these, but some of these are like on slopes. So I think maybe we can have it kind of like this. I think that'll work. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so I came out here to the little mangrove swamp. Uh, because it's, I have found one, but it's like, like 4,000 blocks away. So I'm trying to find a closer one. And I just found this weird formation of sandstone. I'm like, what is that? I'm pretty sure it's an ocean ruins that spawned. Although this is an ocean biome. <laughs> Whoa. Also, this is kind of random, but it looks like ancient debris can actually replace, uh, basalt in generating. So that's kind of interesting. All right, so we went to minus 300 and positive 500 in the nether, and hopefully this takes us to a mangrove swamp. Uh, well, we're in new terrain. That's good. It's not showing the biome for some reason. Okay, we're in a savanna. Hmm. <gasps> okay, okay. Yeah, we've been in this area before. Which is where I've gotten... Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. So one thing I want is these leaves. What tool do you use to break these? Axe? Okay. That's strange, but okay. Um, I'm not sure... Oh, there's naturally generated moss here. Interesting. Okay, I'm not sure how these work. So I think these have different ages... So, do you just plant them and then grow them? Is that how these work? I hope so. I'm going to take some of these back with me. Also, I've never seen a frog yet in survival Minecraft. Um, I've never seen a naturally spawned frog, period, in Minecraft. I've only seen them in creative mode from a spawn egg. So, uh, that is one thing we will be on the lookout for. Because I want to get... Okay, so lava pools can generate. And <gasps> yeah! Okay, we got a frog. Um, so these guys eat slime balls, apparently. I need another one. So these guys are ludicrously rare. They're supposed to spawn in regular swamps. And I even... Oh my gosh, they're so slow. Um, I even went to a swamp biome. Let's put them on a lead instead, because I feel like that would be a little bit quicker. So we're going to put you on a lead. <gasps> Yay, another froggy. Okay. So, you come here. We need to go to water now. So, that shouldn't be hard because we're really close to sea level. There we go. This is actually a pool, isn't it? Yeah, because this should be underwater if it weren't. Well, that's fine. Um, actually, no, this is a water cave. Interesting. Okay, so we will do this. Whoa. Oh, they just swim around. Okay. Cool. Oh, they give you XP right away. That's nice. So now I'm not sure if you can, like, step on these or if they'll break. Um, but I'll wait for these to hatch now. So I just found this village that spawned partially in a swamp biome so the question is do the villagers have the swamp skin and the answer is no they do not they have the biome that the village was supposed to spawn in skin 
and not the biome uh, that they actually do spawn in. Although I think if the vill the villagers had babies, like, because this guy's naturally spawned, but if the villagers had any um, naturally, like, bred babies, I think they would still have the swamp skin, which is good. Although, actually, they probably wouldn't, because usually they breed at the village center, which is here, which is actually in the mountains biome. So, yeah. Okay, so frogs can spawn in the swamp. They're just ludicrously rare. Also, I'm seeing zero blue orchids. You know what? We can bone meal the grass to get blue orchids. That's why I came here. Yeah, the reason we came out this way was, for one, so we could get... I was looking for the swamp biome that I know we have close to our base, but I couldn't find it. But now I'm just looking for a moist biome. Hey, there's emeralds. Uh, just, like, literally any damp biome. Um... So, the most damp biomes are Mega Taiga, which is the taiga with the four wide trees. I know they have a different name, but, like, I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, I'm also collecting flowers for the birch forest we're building. Mega Taiga, um, that was really weird because they looked like they're in the same block. Bamboo Jungle, I'm pretty sure, and that's why when I... Okay, um, and... There's one other one. Not thinking of what it is, though. I think Birch Forest is a damp biome, but I'm not 100% sure. Plains is, like, very dry, and so is, for some reason. Well, I guess that makes sense. But what doesn't make sense is that Forest is also very dry. So if you dig down from either of those, I'm pretty sure you have... Z this is a really big village. Wow. Um, you have zero chance of finding a... Hold on, I want to see this village from high. Yeah, this is a quite large village. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is all new terrain. Although I thought that about the last place I was at, and it turns out I was already there. So, <laughs> uh, when? I don't know. Dark Forest, that's the other one. That's the main biome I'm looking for. Yeah, like, if I go down here, there's no chance of me finding Lush Caves, because uh, Lush Caves, the, the biome that I'm in is Plains, well, Forest. And there is zero chance of lush caves spawning below a forest. And we did find one lush cave. I don't think I've... <gasps> okay. Nice. Okay, so what biome... Okay, river. Okay. Okay, taiga, taiga. Oh, look. Old growth pine taiga. So that is, it's funny that it's called pine and we don't even have pine trees in Minecraft. But um, that is the mega taiga. So I came here to get spore blossoms. And the last, uh, the actually I think it's the only lush cave I've ever found up until this point. Um, the one that I just found was very small and I only found three... Um, I love how these are like updating in real time. I can see them. Um, three spore blossoms there, and there's no way to farm them, as far as I know. Um, it'd be kind of cool if you were in the lush cave biome, you could... Oh, wow, this guy has some good armor. What did he have? Protection, okay. Figures. Um, it'd be cool if they added a way to farm these, though. And they're also really hard to get to, because they're on the top, so you can do this... I just wouldn't recommend it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Was there a lush cave by um, that iron vein we found? I'm interested to find out whether lush cave biome generation is based on the... Based on the biome that was supposed to spawn above it or the biome that actually is above it. So suppose you went to like... 1.17 chunks where you have a bamboo jungle or a dark forest would a lush cave spawn beneath there if say the biome that was supposed to spawn above it whoa whoa okay um the biome that was supposed to spawn above it actually was a plains or something like that uh, also i think it's whoa i keep falling down <gasps> Do you see what I see? 
Okay, I need to get out of here. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No, I'm not, because I have my totem, but... I see. So, we found a lush cave. Um, kind of by random chance. I went into a cave, and I'm like, there's no chance there's gonna be a lush cave down here. This cave is in a plains biome. And there's a lush cave. But that's because the biome we're actually in is a mega taiga. It just happened to generate next to it. And as you can see... Um, we also have a, what are these called? A, a, a deep dark. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm pretty excited about that, because this is the first time I've found a deep dark in survival Minecraft. Oh, actually, no, there's one other time, but it was really small. So, I think I could get the achievement now. The sneak 100 achievement, which I don't really care about achievements a ton. Uh, oh my gosh. Um, but, uh, more importantly, we can get these skulk sensors. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go, got the achievement. And now we can just do this. Oh, those take a long time to break. Interesting. And I think as long as there's no shriekers nearby, we're good. So... Wait, they don't drop? What do you mean they don't drop? Do you need silk touch? Wait. Yeah, I think you need silk touch to break that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that, actually. Okay. Yeah, you need silk touch to mine them. Okay, interesting. I didn't know that. Can I mine these, actually? I don't know. I think the tool for these is a hoe. Okay, so these you also need silk touch for. So interesting, you need silk touch for all of the deep dark blocks. I didn't know that. Alright. This is a very small deep dark, too. Unfortunately. I'm assuming there's more to it, but it's just not here. Hmm. Oh, and you can mine the skulk with silk touch, too. That's cool. Okay, I guess that makes sense. I don't know why skulk would be the one that you wouldn't be able to. That wasn't there before, was it? So, you can just get shriekers from... That's concerning. Because that's a shrieker. Which means that it can spawn the warden. And there was no shrieker there before. So you could just get shriekers from killing mobs. Also, the really bad thing is I now have one um, shriek against me. And if it goes to, I think, four is the number then it will spawn the warden even if like it's a totally different i don't know if it's like a distance thing or if it's like a cooldown thing i really don't know how that works oh my gosh there's so many skeletons all right we got to get out of here why are there so many bloody skeletons i literally can't get away from the skeletons i don't even care at this point so, just as an update on how the outposts are going, I haven't changed anything with this outpost yet, but I am using it right now. So, that's something. And the world isn't loading. Okay, there we go. We need to go this way, yeah. Where does that go? Oh! Oh, no, 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 that's not good. Why did I completely ignore the fact that there's a villager in the nether? I was just like, oh, random new portal. If you're wondering what we're doing with the spore blossoms, we're going to put them in some trees, so that way we get this particle effect, and there's a little bit of pink in the tree, which kind of adds something. But the particle effect it adds a lot. That, that adds a lot of ambience to the forest. Uh, it's very strange to see out in the overworld, this, this particle ambience, but yeah. All right. 
so I've gone through and I've put in a bunch of spore blossoms. There are probably some spots where they aren't very covered uh, by them. Not all of them have one. Actually, very few of them do. It's put in less than a stack. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> so now we're going to go through and we're going to uh, put in the... Where did I put them? Oh, you know what? I think they're in here. Yep. So we're going to put in some of these on a few of the downed trees. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And I assume these can be waterlogged. Yes, they can. Sweet. So I'll just do something like this. Yep, nice. Let's do a little bit more. So are you ready for the final result of what it finally looks like now that we're just about done? Well, here it is. I think it looks absolutely stunning. I think there's a lot more that could be done to it uh, in the future, but right now I think this looks very good. Um, the buttons on the trees really sell the fungus look. Uh, the downed trees with the fungus on it helps too. Um, and something that uh, I even experimented with was putting mushrooms on the ground, which isn't something normally that the game lets you do. Um, in fact, if you go and try to place mushrooms, I'm right clicking, it won't let me because it does have to be a certain light level. And when it's exposed to the sky like this, it's not going to let you place them. But what you can do is you can place blocks around you so it's completely dark and I'd recommend using like nether rack or we could use clay um, just because it's insta mineable so say I want to place one here you could go two blocks away and do something like this and stack up and of course I didn't have enough blocks let's use a barrel <laughs> uh, you do that and then you get rid of these and you're left with a mushroom but if you're doing it by a slope you have to be careful because any block update with this will cause it to pop off so even if it's just a grass block that converts to a dirt block it's gonna pop off when that updates it so you do have to be careful with it like right here though these are fine because as long as I don't put a block like right here this isn't gonna get updated so if that converts to grass or like if I turn this to a path or this to a path that's going to update this and cause this mushroom to pop off and this one should be completely safe because unless I like strip the wood or something I don't know if it'll let me strip it with the mushroom on it though actually it'll be interesting to test uh, I added candles here and there to give it a just kind of some sprouts uh, of some sort there's brown ones here there's some yellow ones most of them are yellow uh, there's like green as well, uh, but they're not within my sight right now. <laughs> uh, I put in azaleas. I think pink petals are going to look amazing in this once they come out, but we don't have them right now, so I can't do that. <laughs> so yeah, but other than that, I think this looks absolutely amazing, as you probably saw from the thumbnail of the video now that I think of it. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I think it looks really great though. So yeah, uh, that's about it though. Thank you guys for watching. Um, we'll have to check out that deep dark next episode as well as set up some kind of uh, frog light farm or something next episode in the nether because we did get frogs and we found that deep dark biome. So hopefully we can find an ancient city and get uh, swift sneak because I want to get the I want to get my leggings back to being max enchanted. But other than that, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, Calcium Captain Smotum Titum, and goodbye.